So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's up, YouTube? Dale here from Z4 Games. We're here with Joe, uh, and of course he is bringing you a Dino Wrestler profile. Now. Um, he's trying to make it as pure as he possibly can in the orientation wise. We're not going to call it a pure deck because it does contain um, the standard Dino engine. It's just too, they're too good of cards not to include uh, your UTC, your Overactor, and of course your Miscellaneousaurus. Uh, so Joe is going to take you through the profile, show you what he's got, why he's got it, uh, and go from there. So Joe, keep it there. So, start off with your obvious three Prankratops. You play three Pankratops in any dinosaur deck, no matter what, just because it's so easy to summon and just synergize with the deck so very well. You then play three Sestego. With this card's special summon, you can add a Dino Wrestler from your deck to hand, or while Dino Wrestling. And if your opponent controls more monsters than you do while he's in the graveyard, you can, back, you can special summon a Dino Wrestler from your graveyard. Then you're playing the one Capacitor. If you control small monsters you do, you can target a monster they control and bounce it to the hand. Um, and if it's used for a link summon of a dino wrestler, which you can do very easily in this deck, including for their main boss monster, it gives it a thousand attack to the end phase. Then we have two of the new guy, Dino Wrestler Eskamachi. Um, I probably butchered that name, but uh, it's Brachiosaurus one. <laughs> so if you control only dino wrestlers, you can normal summon this card without tributing. And then it has a graveyard effect, is that if your opponent special summons a monster while this card is in your graveyard, except during the damage step, you can target a level 4 or a dino wrestler monster in your graveyard, special summon, then add this card to your hand. So it's a very good card. Level 6 is very important to help you go into your level 8 synchro plays. Then I'm taking in one of the dino wrestler martial anger, not one of the blue ones. It's basically a battle stopper, damage destruction um, preventer. If you're a Dino Wrestler monster, you control battles while a monster must have equal or more attack. You can discard this card, you take no damage from that battle, the monster is destroyed and it ends the battle phase. And then if your opponent, and if it's in there during the end phase because it was sitting there, you can special summon it. So it's a very nice card, but I'm only taking it as a one-off. And to find out the Dino Wrestlers in the main deck, I'm playing two of the uh, Color Salat is the new level 2 tuner that they got as well. Basically, a cyber dragon. Pain control spawn must be doing special summon. You can use it once per, uh, once per duel, which is very interesting. Um, if you, it's even better if you just control that monster, so that's even better. Um, and then, if it's sent, if this card cannot be used to link to it except for link summon of a dino wrestler. So, very cool card, really nice and pairs it to it because you have multiple ways to get it onto the field for your synchro plays. Moving into the non uh, Dino Wrestler monsters for Van Up the Tuners as well is One Jack Adio. This is probably the most expensive card in the deck that doesn't include like extra deck stuff. In the main deck it's probably the most expensive thing. And even then you don't have to play it. I play in here purely because I have it as an option for myself. And the level one helps you go into your Chambala that you can just <laughs> do naturally. Then you have your obvious Stratos for all dinosaurs, Solis and Overraptor, we all know why he's good. Freedom off the ban list is uh, free Miscellaneousaurus. You know, protection on your turn during the main phase and helps you spam the board with Dino Wrestlers to go into all your Synchro and Link plays and even to your Fusion plays. And then two, oh my conductor Tyranno, big big boss monster. If your Dino Wrestlers aren't winning you in the game, this guy will do it for you. <laughs> and then we play two baby Cerasaurus and two petite Pterodons. We have levels all over the place that we just want to summon by destroying these little guys. So I'm playing two of each just to get the maximum summons off them. That's it for monsters moving on two spells. We have the one tyrant dino fusion. It's a quick play fusion spell that fusion sons of dino wrestler monster from the extra using monsters you control as fusion materials. If you do, uh, the vet the first time that face up monster on the field would be destroyed by battle card effect, it is not destroyed. So it gives it protection as well whilst being a quick play. Then we have the three fossil digs, standard Stratos. 
as well as the one for each barrel. Because I'm going to call this a rotor for the deck just because you send your World Dino Wrestling Field Spot to the graveyard, which then in turn, if you're playing Control Small Monster, you can banish it and then you can add a Dino Wrestler in your deck to hand. So it is in form another Stratus. Moving on to the Field Spells, is free Lost World. Really important for your combos. You need to have this on field because it gives them a token that you can pop, trot, attempt to pop, which then lets you destroy a baby, which then gets you a summon, which then gets you a search, more summons, more pops, so on and so forth. You can see where this is going. Free World Dino Wrestling. It has a pretty cool field, uh, on field effect where you, your opponent can, both players can only attack with one monster a turn, and Dino Wrestlers get an extra 200 attack. Um, but you're mostly using it for its graveyard effects to banish it and some dino wrestlers from your deck. The two terraforming to help you search a lost world. I'm taking in one copy of Space Time Transcendence. This is a pretty cool revival spell. You can banish two dinos from your graveyard and summon a dino from your graveyard whose level is equal to that uh, those banished levels. We have levels all over the place. So you can even revive your big extra deck dinosaurs and get the effects off as well. And then the one copy of Monster Reborn just to round up the main deck. Moving on to the extra deck we have the one uh, Dino Wrestler Chimera T Rexel. Uh, this guy's 3500 attack points level 8 which takes a Dino Wrestler Link monster which we now have two of which is really good and just any Dino Wrestler monster. If this card battles, your opponent can activate spells or traps into the enemy damage set. If this card's attack, defense position monster, if it gives some bounce damage. Your opponent's monsters cannot target monsters for attacks except this one. This card, if this card destroys a foe's a monster by battle, it gains 500 attack. And if this card is destroyed by card effect, destroy all your opponent's attack position monsters. So, tons of effects, but so it is worth summoning this guy, you're mostly going to use him to try and go for the game or just completely gain control of the board presence. So this guy is absolutely amazing. Two copies of Dino Wrestler Giga Spinal Savage. Uh, Donald knows how good this guy is. Basically the MVP of... MVP sneak of Sneak Peek. If you can make this guy, you're, you're winning every game. Essentially, this guy can once per turn pop a monster on the field. It's just absolutely good. Uh, just takes a dinosaur tuner and one on one non tuner so the non tuners can just be generic as long as you just have a dinosaur tuner which we have two of in this deck. If it battles, your opponent can't activate spots to traps and tuning back damage step. Your opponent's monsters cannot target monsters for attack except this one. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls to destroy it. And if this card would, destroy, would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy one card you control instead. 3k attack level 8. It's absolutely savage. And speaking of savage, Borwalod Savage Dragon. If you're playing a synchro deck that in incorporates links, you're playing Savage Dragon. And one copy of Chambar for generic dinosaur OTKs. Two, a copy of Lagu and Dolko just for my Xyz options. I like to have them in here in my dinosaur decks just because if you can make them, why not play them? Moving on to links, we have the obvious Ball of Dragon, just for Link 4. For budget options, just because it also came out, you can play the new Amphibious Borg, which can, comes as both the, an ultra rare promo, as well as I think common or rare in the main set. Uh, one copy of Dino Wrestler King T-Rex, so you can make this guy extremely easy now because they've got a Link 2. And if you can get this guy out, you're in a good spot. Uh, copies of Nightmares, you know, Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Cerberus for its just generic Link 2s, along with Underclock Taker. Um, just combos very well with your Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, and even if you can get one of your big Dino Wrestlers underneath it. A lot of our stuff is Earth, so this is Radiant. You know, give yourself a little buff. If you, if you, just, you know, you can have a 3100 attack points prank or top, so why not go for it? And if it does, to get destroyed you can get one of the Dino Wrestlers back. And to run up the extra deck, two of the Dino Wrestler Terra uh, Pecorio. It takes two Dino Wrestler monsters. If you activate World Dino Wrestling you can target one Dino Wrestler monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. 
if this card is sent to the graveyard as needed to, you can target one dino with someone sitting in your graveyard. Special summon defense mode that negate its effects. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except dino wrestler monsters. You can only use each effect of dino wrestler turn per radio once per turn. Kind of wish you just said just you can't special summon anything except just dinosaurs. Um, that would help the generic dinosaur stuff a little bit more if you continue with using those, but still a really, really good link to. You can still use it for anything essentially for a link summon as long as it's just used. You can get something back, keep going off. Um, really good card, really glad that they got it. And uh, that's it for the deck. Cool. Uh, so, as you see, Dino can be uh, incredibly far and powerful. Uh, their best monster is hands down Brank Tops, and uh, you know you can just see how generic he is being used and abused in pretty much every deck out there now. Uh, but yeah, that is it for Joe's take on the deck. Hope this gives you a couple of ideas of your own build and a couple of versions you can try that yourself. For now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and as always, guys, happy building. What's up, YouTube? Dad here from Zephyr War Games. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, please hit that big thumbs up button in the bottom corner as well. And don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Make sure you click that notification bell as well so you know every time one of our new videos goes up. Throughout the whole year of 2019, we're gonna have more deck profiles, duels, and of course, pack openings for you guys to watch and enjoy the entire year round. So stay tuned for more, and as always guys, happy dueling.